my critic on the your school system. The system on this moment is not so. I will be honest. I will be true. I will not compromise anything. I will say the way I see it. And if you don't like it, then you can go away. I myself have not so much with the your your uh, school system, the Western school system, and their syllabus. Syllabus is the system of the society. Uh, the syllabus is uh, the system that decides which kind of um, color shirts or classes or something like that you have to choose on school. The syllabus is also the system that uh, comes from the ancient Romans actually. Um, and it decides uh, what society deems important uh, to, that the masses uh, know. It say that you have, for example, to have a certain amount of math when, or a certain amount of theatry or chemistry or English in English speaking uh, countries. Um, Spanish uh, in America, for example, I don't know, so you can know. Yeah, actually, at least in the democratic stage in America, um, so some not democratic stage, but so far I know, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, even maybe for what you want um, to do it with your life. Um, I know from a young age what I want to do with my life. Um, some of that are not important, or well, just one hobby or something like that. And therefore, there, for what I want to do, I don't need it actually. And therefore, I think the system will work a lot better, a school system, if parents and if a society look a little bit better in Article 26 from the Human Rights Laws, would say actually that anybody have the right to education, and that's the parents in our in paragraph three that the parents have the right to uh, the site or the vote or the uh, caretakers um, to decide which kind of education. The children get which kind of uh, schooling. For example, uh, by that example, you can choose to have uh, homeschooling or more Christian kind of schooling. Uh, and the parents have to also to talk with the children about that with their wants. For example, for, uh, because in the end, uh, it is all what the children want to learn. Uh, if the children already know what he wants from a young age, and the parents know that the child uh, um, think actually a lot about some topics. For example, some children already know from a young age that they want to do something. Um, for example, they want to be a reader, they want to be a writer, and therefore, even when um, better schooling system that children can do more um, English if you live in English tongue land or Greeks and if they are meaning Greek and learn to have a more creative for example they can take more creative reading lessons and they can um, if you want to be in history, if you also like history, maybe you can want to learn um, more about history, so that they can use the history in their writing styles. Um, things that have been happening in the history. Um, or they want to be a historian, and they don't despise um, some... They don't, want, they don't want to have anything to do with biology. Uh, technically, you can say, 
then uh, that are not up to of that stuff. Well, I mean, not I mean that I think against a sexual um, education, but that is not something that I think that have to be on school. Uh, I think that it's more something that the parents uh, have to do uh, talk to about with their children. I think that that's something that you have to have on school. And most children in the Western world get sexual education from the from their from the friends uh, <laughs> because uh, they know a lot all about that kind of gross stuff because we live in an uh, oversexed cult. But maybe that's for another topic for another time. I think also that the whole your 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 whole school system. Um, I have to evolve in a lot of ways and um, look what's being important on this moment that I could still use and um, in which kinds they have to evolve. In many ways the silicon is um, not so much different than the silicon from the time of the Romans. In many ways they're still the same and the words of Einstein, for example, how was one drop out when he 50, he have uh, decided that his school system not learned him what he wants to learn. And so he quit school and his father believed that his son was one failure and the old man died with that notion. We now know Einstein was one of the greatest minds um, of humanity, in particular in the field of um, science, in, in, an, um, in, in physics, um, in fields like that. Well, which most people know is that Einstein also um, was one lover of um, nature and that he gets his best ideas when he was walking in the, for in the forest and that he once I say that if you look in nature if you not if you want to understand something better you have to look deeper in nature anything become more clear He also acknowledged that, in particular in the light of time of his age, that when he, if he was, well, if he was knowing what he knew on that time, that he most likely not want to become one scientist. If he look which our governments use their science for so horrible ways, and he wants to be a watchmaker because then is inventions cannot be used for mass murder. <laughs> Even Einstein was not the direct inventor of the nuclear bomb. He has worked uh, his work is used some of his work is used to make the bomb. So he feel personally responsible for a long time also um, for what um, the bombs have done. It was not one nationalist. He believed nationalism is the um, is one of the most biggest follies of humankind. He have once called the missile of uh, humanity. Missiles of uh, not missile, <laughs> you know, the disease. Also, a lot of others have, uh, even there have not one education. For example, Bill Gates. Bill Gates was a ha was a hacker, and he's dropped out of a high school. His father was one scholar, and his mother was a teacher. Steve Steve Jobs, of uh, where I know, he has only one high school diploma, and he was a dropout of college. A, and not get his college degree. 
all high school. Yes, that's also not <laughs> a waste of pass in school. What does that mean with us? Um, by that, can you see that your your uh, school system is not necessarily the best form of education for anybody? And I wish that societies understand that more because if I was told that I not necessarily have to endure the school system and that I actually can have homeschool, then I think I'd have to choose for that. For example, because the most I have now I've learned that is uh, that I've learned myself actually. Um, from doctors on the internet, like Dr. John Ducal, and he has so many uh, lectures and studies that they have um, produced and have show also from others on his uh, website um, on food, for example, um, human physiology. In schools, they are told you also a lot of misinformation. Because there are also get subsidies from certain places, but also not be 100% always reliable. Because they have one personal interest. For example, all the my all the marketing propaganda of the dairy industry to have their milk on any school uh, in the early in the 70s, and to now today also some in a lot of places. That try to um, have more milk on the schools because they're saying oh since um, human bones have calcium you have to drink a lot of calcium and just like the propaganda with uh, since human bodies have protein um, you have to eat a lot of protein and that's a straw man fallacy and it's not it's not actually uh, true in the 70s um, what food organization have actually then in that time already proved that humans, uh, when they eat a normal amount of uh, food, not have uh, not only eat, they can even eat two point five percent of their daily calories from protein, and then they have still enough protein. They have say, for the safe measures have um, make that. But up by two, and so they're saying that there is five percent that you have to eat it's from your daily calories from protein. Most vegan doctors say twenty. And Majugal, eight to he say on uh, around something eight to ten. That's what, that's what Majugal would say. What, what I want to say with that, with all the lectures on school uh, and all the lectures on the internet on YouTube, for example. From doctors going to Google, I think school have to play another have to take uh, if they want to adapt to this time. They have to make a lot of changes. I know uh, some schools have already made some changes. I've heard um, that some schools in the U.S., for example, uh, have a program where they can um, once a week um, have one guest speaker on the school. Uh, with help of one live stream, I find that a pretty good in ID uh, from the teachers because they um, can uh, hear from experts uh, on some topics. For example, um, some animal rights activists or so can also speak in the classes. For example. Um, to, with that time uh, with uh, Emily from Bite Side Vegan. From, from her channel, I've heard first that heard some schools have done that. I don't know um, so much about it in my country because I'm following not anything to on the seat of the schools. And that's not something that of my interests so much but I want to make this video clear and I want to end it out and make it oh. I think honestly that's cool um, have 
his housekeeping to do, just like with sector uh, with secretaries, for example, uh, they have to do their homework if they want to distinct themselves from um, philanthropists or religion people, because um, humans are not the, cr the most powerful entity on planet. Oh yes, even one dog can kill a human. If he not use cheats like uh, pistols or blades, I mean all cheats. That's not something that humans natural have. Humans don't have natural claws. Look this like claws to you. Look this like claws. Our claws? No. Our teeth are weak. I can easily break. Our teeth are also not sharp. Look this like sharp teeth. But it's like more like a horse, the teeth on a horse or a cow. Look just like fangs or a lion. No. We sweat to our pores to call ourselves down. Carnivores and omnivores. Pants. Or crap. Uh, or go down by putting their mouth wide open. I did. This was, this was crocodiles do to pull down. Do you go down on this way? No. Our eyes. If you say, our eyes being on the front of us. It's like, uh, you say that when lions. But then you forget uh, that lions have night vision. And which kind of animal have also eyes on the front of their face? Gorillas! Bonobos! And there are 100% herbivores. before. Gorillas? eat leaves and fruits and sticks. Some say that they eat insects, but I believe not so much in that. Well, that I've not seen that myself. And if they eat sometimes, maybe, to make it a little bit fair, maybe if they eat sometimes bugs, then it can be that they eat bugs so when they eat some stick where bugs walk around and that they don't clean it uh, from it. But they don't hunt, they don't uh, go into mass murder like humans do. Well, mass worldwide, worldwide serial sites. Like the trophy um, hunters have been the biggest threat to wildlife in Africa. The African Lion and Environmental Research Trust states on their website lionalert.org that the African lion population has dropped 80 to 90% since 1975 and continues to. And when you go to threats, on the right side of the page, you will find trophy hunting. Here it says recent studies have shown that areas in which trophy hunting has been permitted by government authorities, lion populations have severely declined, even in the absence of other threats. Despite some scientific efforts to ameliorate the facts, they state that trophy hunting has never been shown to be a sustainable venture and is known to have many abuses. Over the last six years, about 650 adult male lions have been killed every year from hunting like Kendall's from a population of just 2,500 adult males left. And in an article written by Dr. Peter Katt, founder of Lion Aid, he states that lions can simply not reproduce fast enough to maintain a level of offtake of adult males killed by hunters. One of the big threats. We are also not the most intelligent species on this planet. In contrary with schools, and media system, the government, politicians, you want to let believe. Our brain is something like um, one. Our, our brain is something like uh, 1.3 kilograms as our, the weight of our brains. The elephant brain weighs around something like four to uh, five, six kilograms. Dolphins have twice the amount of neurons in the neural cortex as humans and have a brain si weight of, uh, and size of um, 1.5. Elephants have four times the amount of uh, neurons in the brain and that's something like um, 200, 255 neurons and that's been ill in the smaller brain but in the and this side of the brain where all the memories we put up and it is responsible for movements and we can also say that possibly the brain from an elephant worked a little bit different from a, from a human and some of the functions that human cerebral cortex do 
and to the celebra celebration of the elephants to uh, in their celebration what in their take some of their qualities. For example, uh, whales. Whales have one of the most biggest brains on the planet. Some whales have a brain sized of more than kilograms and have four uh, parts in the contrary with most mammalian brains of the lands like humans, like uh, most kinds of monkeys, uh, pigs, etc. They weigh four scoops. So they are complexer brains than humans by all means. And then you say, uh, because humans are extremely arrogant, they say, oh, don't make not uh, buildings, I don't uh, have a laser, I don't have pistols, and uh, all of all things. But don't forget that, um, that that human are fashion things of intelligence that there have been, and that there have been not only one form of intelligence. You can say that there have been many kinds of intelligence, just like there have been many kinds of reading, writing materials. Understand? There's not only one form or another form. There'll be different forms. For example, sharks can locate uh, the space around them and can feel if there is something around them. Um, there are six and I have uh, seven senses in stand of humans uh, that have uh, five senses. In contrary with humans, um, elephants have, um, have an extremely good memory. Elephants, it is true, elephants don't forgive, forget anything. If you uh, be in some supplies and you bully an elephant and you grow up, and that elephant spots you when you're older, he can still recognize you. And maybe he will take some revenge on you, like putting water on your head. <laughs> All animals have qualities that we don't maybe have. And there are maybe qualities we don't have. We cannot be 100% sure in this moment. But mo since that most scientists are anthropocentric and not biocentric, uh, they are put the bias in that animals lack some things that we have. And for the people that now also want to say um, that brain science is not so much important and it's, uh, because I have not told you how much neurons the, the, the whale brain have, which is also not I know in my head. But that we say then, if they have been truly not important at all, um, then I will say that the that most scientists be a, will be agree on the fact that dinosaurs, like um, the T Rex, have one brain with the size of a walnut. So, I ask you what, what you think from that. But this video will become right too long. If you want that I talk more about the school system. <sighs> Put it in the description below. The school system is also a little bit discriminatory because it's because we have different kinds of schools and the children cannot choose to which kind of careers they want. If you have a child that wants to be a reader or want to be, become an artist, um, and there are talents for that, then they have to. If you ask me. So can quit some of other stuff, for example, they can quit um, if they have nothing and don't like uh, math, for example. You, most of you know maybe that you can, can you, that you can come a lot uh, with the basic math that you learn on on the basic school on the first years before the eighth year, uh, year eighth school class. You don't need complex math to uh, do your fine range and say um, you need um, a new computer. Uh, you can go, come 
you are a lot with a simple math. You don't need to, to know um, that. You don't have to know uh, why x is equal to twice um, i. A i. It's not something that you need to know. So um, live um, in this community. Understand? When darkness and light become one, the reality splits one away and the truth become visible. I want also to give one shout out um, to Westbrook Vegan High School in New York. Uh, there are good strong um, abolish murder in all its forms and free all creatures of the earth because humans are also not cruel of creation even most schools learn that humans are the most highest of the food chain um, when reality there is not something as a food chain there's an arbitrary line made by us the oppressors we uh, without tools without weapons we not can kill um, pigs or our animals um, yes even a pig can kill a human if they want without cheats if humans don't have uh, weapons like blades or Uh, guns or other weapons. Oh yeah, and dog can also kill a human or a gorilla if they're being forced. Gorillas are, two, are three times as strong as humans. Uh, four, three times uh, as strong as humans. So, where is your defense on this? Don't be the fool. And also, the system is also a little bit discriminatory eh? because if you live in a poor neighborhood, you have poor teachers, and these poor teachers can only uh, learn to do so much. And that's let you live in a poor neighborhood, and let you um, marriage only other poor people, and that's how the circle works. The circle of society. Poor people go to poor schools, get a poor education, and that and work then in a poor job. Not because um, they cannot do better, but because the syllabus choose what are being learned in that schools. And higher schools, higher on the so-called invisible and delusional class system of humanities psycho matrix there are of, um, school programs that being more um, have more done our research on society and what society uh, deems to be more important and therefore they get a better education also most of the time there being also children from rich people and from bureaucrats uh, on that school and other elitist cons and they can then work together it's indeed true that um, most of the schools also can let in people from lower classes in society but they have to work a lot harder to get to the same point because um, classes uh, mean still in a universal school for example also when Harvard and Yale with our clubs of skill and bones or you have to do extremely absolutely creepy things uh, and weird things with the peers but what I want to say in general society and um, that's all that's all I think it has to be a little, little bit look better room and we have to bring think the whole system schools and not 
by definition always say that um, one tactic is better. But for example, I get so much bullied in school that I, I probably learn myself more than I've learned in school. And I'm being serious with that. On school, uh, most of the time I was one, at least once bullied in a week. Sometimes even more times in a week. And it was not small bullying. Sometimes also they put my hand in the toilet and pee men in the toilet before. Men. I give me a um, pee douche. Disgusting. No. Or they have to put me in the toilet so that I don't can, can go out the toilet and that and I come in trouble with the teachers. I'll believe my bullies uh, when they say that they don't have to have to put have put me in the toilet. No reason. The you're not room. That's so fine.